Welcome to your practice. We begin in child's pose, so please just open your knees nice and wide. Rest your forehead on the floor and your arms next to your body. Take some time to connect to your breath. And feel your breath going all the way into your back body, into the back of the heart. Today will be our heart opening practice. For now, just breathe and enjoy. Feel the breath moving along the spine. Feel your ribs expanding out into the side. Face is soft. Put more breath here. And then slowly move your hands forward and come up onto your hands and knees. Walk your hands a little bit further ahead. Stay on your fingertips and bring your forehead to the floor for Anahata Asana. And with every exhale, melt your heart. Nice deep breath here. Your hips are above your knees. Face is soft. Keep breathing. And then come back onto your hands. Turn your right foot out. And then straighten your left leg and move your left arm up and over your head for a supported side plank pose. A beautiful way to open your side body. Inhale to come back up. Release your left hand down and switch sides. Now stretching your right leg. Right arm comes up and over your head. Breathing into the side. Inhale, come back up and release your hands. Find your way into downward facing dog. Stretch out your legs and begin to slowly walk your feet forward. And then just fold over your legs, rock a little bit back and forth and side to side. Let your head hang, face is soft. And then release your arms, shake out your arms and begin to slowly roll yourself all the way up to stand. Arms resting next to your body with your palms forward, stand tall. Rock a little bit back and forth, really feeling the connection. And then taking your right hand, making a beak and tapping in the center of your chest, up and down. This is stimulating your thymus gland. You can also tap to the right and to the left shoulder. It's like giving a little massage to your heart. And then release both arms next to your body. Face is soft with your next breath. Inhale, float the arms forward and up. Exhale, bend the elbows, slight back bend. Inhaling up and exhale, fold forward. Step your left foot back. Right arm comes up as you exhale, right hand underneath your thigh. Inhaling up. And again, exhale, right arm on the knees, last one, and release, step back, inhale, come forward into plank, and then all the way down onto your belly, fingertips out underneath your elbows, press down, roll up into a nice big white cobra, exhale, release, and again, roll the shoulders up and back, open, exhale, release. Last time, inhale to come up, 
Exhale, release. Place your hands, push back, downward facing dog. Left leg up, step your left foot forward. Now this time, right hand on the floor, left arm up. Exhale, left arm underneath your left thigh, inhaling up. Exhale, release. Last time, inhaling up. Nice big breath. And exhale, place your hand and step your right foot forward. Exhale to fold over the legs. Inhale, lift the arms up. And exhale, just bend the elbows. Inhaling up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. As you exhale, step your right foot back. Cart with your arms into a warrior two. Right hand goes behind. Left arm lifts up. Take an extra breath and then take your elbow to the knee and roll that right shoulder up and back for a nice chest opening. Breathe. Press into your back foot, come up, turn your feet parallel, lift the arms out to the side, interlace your hands, lift the chest as you exhale. Fold forward. Face is soft, breathing deeply. Pressing down to come up, release, turn your right toes out to the side, bend the right knee, open the arms, warrior two. Left arm goes behind, proud warrior. Breathe. And then inhale to come up, take the elbow to the knee, roll the left shoulder up and back. And then taking your left arm behind to really open the chest. Press down to come up once again, feet parallel. Good. Eagle arms, right arm underneath your left arm, fold forward. Let your head relax. Pressing down to come up, switch arms. Inhaling up, exhale, left arm underneath the right and fold forward again. Beautiful. Press into your feet. Inhale to come up. Turn your left toes forward. Card with your hands to the floor. Step back. Inhale forward. And as you exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly. Let's come into locust pose. Interlace your hands and lift the chest for Shalambhasana. Keep your neck nice and long. One more breath. And then exhale, come back onto your belly and stretch your arms out like a T. Look with your head to the left, press into your left hand, right palm is facing down and we're coming into the T stretch, left arm behind your back. Breathe. Make sure your head is supported. Beautiful. From here, release, come back onto your belly. Left arm out to the side, palm facing down, roll onto your left side, right foot steps back, and then you can bring your right arm behind your back if it's comfortable, and keep your face soft. Beautiful, last breath, and then release. Hands next to your body, come back into child's pose. Once again, your arms can be forward or next to your body, whatever feels good. Breathe, soften your face. And then come up and back into downward facing dog. And step forward. 
Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, float the arms forward and up. On the exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, release your arms. Breathe and just feel into the center of your palms. Face is soft. Feel your breath. And then inhale, lift the arms forward and up. Come into your little back bend. Inhale, lift up and then fold forward. Lift the chest, right foot steps back. Cartwheel your arms into warrior two. And then straighten your front leg and find Trikonasana. Right arm up into the sky. Breathe. And then stretch both arms parallel over your head, parallel to the floor. Really engage your core. Feel the strength of your legs. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, bring your feet parallel to fold forward again. Arms behind your back. Breathing deeply. Press down, inhale to come up, turn your right toes out. Open the arms and find Trikonasana. Stretch, left arm reaches up and then left arm over your head, right arm parallel to your left arm. Find your strength, press down and then inhale to come back up. Good, bring your feet parallel hands onto your waist, roll the shoulders up and back and then fold forward. Beautiful. Stretch your arms forward like a wide-legged down dog. Beautiful. With your next breath, come back up, walk your hands back and forward. Step your left foot back, inhale forward into plank. Beautiful, and then lower down, knees, chest, chin, come into a nice, easy cobra, and back into downward facing dog. And here for a moment, bend your knees so you can really stretch out your back and reach your belly to your thighs. Beautiful. Now drop your knees, double the front of your mat to prepare for camel pose. Bring both knees onto the padding. Toes are tucked. Let your inner thighs move back, left hand onto your waist, reach your right arm up. With your palm facing out, reach back to your left heel, uh, right heel, left arm reaches up. Lift your chest, breathe. Relax your face, come up and switch sides. Right hand into your waist, left arm up, left hand goes to the left heel and then stretch your right arm all the way up into the sky. Breathing deeply. Come on up. And now for the final version, either both hands on your waist or if you can, roll the shoulders up and back and bring your hands onto both heels and then lift up from your chest. And either let your head go or keep your chin reaching towards the heart. Big, big, full, full breath into the heart. Inhale to come back up. Very nice. Release the double fold, come to sit. And then a moment into child's pose. Again, breathing into the back of the heart. Allow yourself a moment here to rest and breathe. Slowly come back up, swing your legs forward and then come to lie on your back. 
Place your feet underneath your knees. Measure with your middle finger to touch to your heels. And then inhale, roll your hips all the way up. Coming into bridge pose. Either interlacing your hands or just keeping your fingers on your heels. Full big breath. Maybe even exhaling through the mouth. Nice. And then slowly release. Lift your knees, swing them side to side like windshield wipers. And then lift your hips back up. You're also invited to come into full wheel if you wish. Otherwise, stay in bridge pose for some nice deep breath. And then with your next exhale, you can slowly come back down. Once again, move your knees side to side. And then hug the knees into your chest. Now we're coming either into the full shoulder stand, or if that is too much, you can place something underneath your hips and just swing your legs up. For the full shoulder stand, swing your legs over your head, place your hands onto your lower back, walk your elbows a little closer, lift your legs up. Remember not to turn your head left or right and to actively press into the elbows. If it feels too much with your legs up, you can bring your legs a little bit more over your face. Wherever you are, breathe deeply. And then drop your knees next to your ears. And slowly roll back down for a little moment of rest. Maybe rolling your head from side to side to release tension from the neck. Now we're preparing fish pose. Bend the elbows next to your chest. And then just press down, lift your chest and come onto the top of your head. Again, a really beautiful heart opening. Breathe deeply. Face is soft. <sighs> beautiful. Release. Bend your knees. Bring the knees into your chest. Rock a little bit back and forth. Hands onto your knees. Make circles, moving the knees towards each other, moving the knees away from each other. And let's do a nice, easy twist here. So for the easy twist, first legs over to the left. You can look over your right shoulder. And then lift up and exhale, knees to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Nice big breath. Give yourself time. And then slowly lift your legs back up. Rock a little bit back and forth. Come up. And we're coming into Paschimottanasana. Start with your knees bent. Fold forward. Enjoy resting your chest on your thighs. Maybe stay here if this is enough for you. Or feel free to straighten your legs for the full pose of Paschimottanasana and really melt your heart forward. 
Take some really nice deep breath here. As you, as you exhale, scoop the belly in and up. Notice how that gives you a little bit more space to sink deeper. Beautiful. Now slowly come back up and we'll transition into a seated position. So maybe sitting on a pillow, on a block for a short meditation. Just a little moment of closing the eyes and again tuning in with your breath, noticing any movement in your body, maybe a sense of vibrancy. Just feeling your breath. Notice anything that has shifted, changed. Notice the space you have created. And then release and come to lie onto your back for a short but deep shavasana. Slowly begin to deepen your breathing. You can begin to wiggle your toes, move your fingers, and stretch your arms over your head. And then hugging the knees into your chest rocking gently, roll over onto your right side. Use your hands to push yourself back up into a comfortable seat. Once again, taking a little moment here, honoring yourself for your time, left hand onto your heart, feel into the space, feel the warmth, Placing your right hand on top of your left hand. Give yourself a little moment of thanks. Maybe chant a silent Om. And then bring your hands together into prayer. Thank you for your practice today. Namaste.